Okay, I'm testing the tape or the recording thing out for this, so just to see how it works. First time recording anything with this thing, but I am trying to develop some card images, trading card images for my new Renfield campaign. So this first one will be will be Renfield himself and the main characters. You'll have a one shot Sal right here. And she's got her big Smith and Wesson M1917 with the extra long barrel on it that she calls Big Mike. Well, this will be the vampire Malcolm. His eyes staring down on all of them here in the background. This is more or less kind of a montage of that I'm put together here. I got the moon here. I'm gonna put Dracula's castle right here because that's Malcolm was a victim of Count Dracula himself, and he got locked away in a crypt in, in Chicago, outside Chicago, until Edward McGregor's bunch of thugs just happened to unleash him about a hundred years later so now it's up to uh, Dr. Ranfield to track down the 30 caskets that Malcolm has hidden all over the city so before they actually get to him There'll be a few more vampires created and destroyed before they actually get to Malcolm. That's the reason why I'm spreading this over into three volumes. I've got part one, it's already out on Amazon. It's Malcolm, or uh, Renfield Book One, Malcolm. And that's been out since November. Uh, this one is for book two of the Vampire Squad. And it's, of course, it's set in Gangsterland, Chicago, 1930 Chicago. And uh, I'm throwing together several characters, including Frank Nitty, who was head of uh, Capone's old outfit after Capone got sent to prison in 1931 for tax evasion. So, Nitty and his men will be working with Dr. Renfield and actually, later on, J. Edgar Hoover as well to track down and destroy these vampires. And eventually, cornering Malcolm and killing him too. So, this is kind of what I call a historical horror fiction, maybe kind of a new genre all, all together. So, I've got to find my reference photos of this pistol. Of course, the Smith & Wesson M1917 barrel wasn't nearly this long. This modification is just something I kind of thought of. I said, I think that would be pretty cool to have a long barrel pistol. Of that sort. I 
get a general idea of this. I finalize the details here when I get my reference material up. The main thing is I've got to get another printer. I've got a Canon scanner printer, so it has a bad habit of only printing half the page. So that's not acceptable. I have some yet to have something that's going to print the entire page. I'm I'm coming out with several different types of playing cards. I'm going to have got this one. Of, Ranfield himself with his gang. Then I'll have one of one shot Sal and her sister. In the first book, they had another sister, Martha, whom uh, Malcolm turned into a vampire. And Ranfield had to stake her. And uh, the approach I'm taking with this is kind of like a kind of a film noir where it's it's black and white except for those pages where there's bloodshed. I say there's a scene where where a vampire is being staked. The only color will be red for the blood itself and everything else will still be black and white I kinda got that idea from uh, watching uh, if anybody has seen that movie Schindler's List where you see the little girl in a red coat walking down the street and the German commander he's, he's watching her that's the only color in that entire movie is that little girl's red coat and I thought that was pretty powerful so Now, once I get this, stop this video, I'm going to have to figure out where the file is. On my laptop. I had to do some rearranging in here so where my camera would actually... I had a camera arm I got in today from Amazon, so I'm trying it out too. So. I will most likely when I scan this, I'll most likely do the coloring in Clip Studio Paint rather than using colored pencil to do this. You see here, Ranfield's got uh, the stake, and he's got his hammer over here, 
in this other hand. And then here's a vampire down here, and laying, she's laying her in a casket. Here you've got the moon, and this bat is a, a copy of the of the one that's on the cover of my first book. So. That way it's kind of consistent there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It would take me a while to figure all this out to see what I can and can't do. But I, my plan is to have a bunch of these printed up before I actually start my campaign. So. We will see how this goes. I'm going to end this right here and see what how it turns out. <laughs>